afternoon folks just a real quick video showing you how to record a vlog using apple's quicktime um, where you're going to be able to hear your voice you're going to be able to hear your session and you're going to be able to route all this audio through in stereo so your voice is sitting straight down the middle in what we call dual mono whereas before some of the other ways we looked at doing this it meant that your voice ended up on just the left side of the stereo field which is a little off-putting for the uh, viewer and at times you couldn't actually hear your own session which is not too useful when it comes to creating a vlog and talking through say your process it would be said that this video doesn't have to just apply for audio obviously i'm talking about logic pro tools ableton or the example of audio i'm using is actually fmod today but this could relate to any sort of um uh, door or video editing software or something that you're using and you want to edit together so the first thing you're going to need to do is download some software so ladia um first thing i would get is black hole Black Hole is from a company called Existential Audio. Their website is existential.audio. You can donate if you like, or it is free. You just need to download the um, Mac version. And if it asks you for a particular type of version, you're just after the two channel uh, version once you log in um, and you pick up this piece of software. Um, so once you've done that, another thing you're gonna need is a bit of software called Ladiocast which is this thing here that we're looking at. And I'll talk about the routing in a minute, but you get that from the App Store. So you could just jump into the App Store, search for Ladiocast, and there it is, it's free. It's a free piece of software. It's not amazing, amazing. Um, there are better solutions you can get, um, but you do have to pay for those. And of course, this is for free. So um, I think it's feedback or talkback is another, um, or loopback it might be called. If we search loopback audio Mac, let's say, yeah, loopback cable free audio routing. This is going to be potentially a better option, but it is going to cost you a little bit of cash. Um, so I'm showing you the free version without you having to spend a hundred odd bucks. So once you've downloaded and installed these pieces of software, Ladiocast will live at the top of your Mac here. And you can see input one and input two. There's a couple of other things that you need to do um, once Black Hole is installed, once Ladiocast is installed, which you'll do in the audio MIDI setup window. So once you're in the audio setup window, you'll see the Black Hole 2 channel is actually listed as an audio device. And the idea behind this piece of software is that it's listening to a source. So our source in our case today is going to be FMOD, but it could be, as I say, Photoshop, could be After Effects, could be Final Cut, Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton, whatever piece of software that it is you're trying to actually capture. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create what we call a multi-output device. So you'll see over here I've discussed the multi-output device and I've said to choose your Black Hole 2 channel and your I.O. So in my example here, my I.O. is an ID4 and black hole are both clicked. So they're both selected. These two sources are part of this, of this multi output track. Once you've done that, you want to actually route the piece of software that you want to record. So for FMOD, for instance, my prefaces is going to be going out to the black hole. In Logic, it would be the same, out to black hole. Um, again, Photoshop, Final Cut, um, whichever piece of audio, whichever source you're trying to capture alongside your voice will go to that. And then your actual output for your sound. So obviously in the later versions of um, OS X, we can choose this icon, we can go down to sound and you want to choose your actual audio interface. So it could be a Scarlet, could be an ID4, could be a Focusrite from um, which is the company that makes the Scarlet. Whichever, out, whichever device you use, you want to set that um, as your output. And then once you've got that sorted, when you go into Ladiocast itself, and again, I've, I've talked about this here. So the input one is from my audio interface is what's capturing my voice. I've sent both the left channel and the right channel from the input one to the main output, which I've clicked here. And the main output is black hole two channel. Then input two is black hole two channel, which is going out to the ID four. So this is enabling me to hear not only my voice, but I can also hear the output from the software as I'm talking to you, which I've chosen to send on the auxiliary one. So you want your input from your main audio device. Again, it could be a Scarlet. It could be any sort of um, audio device you're using from Mackie or, you know, a range of, of different uh, companies. 
ID4, channel one, which is the mono input that we're sending in, but we're sending the same signal out to the left and to the right for a dual mono output, which is going to the black hole two channel. But then we're also listening back to the black hole two channel, which is then going out to my ID4 so I can hear both my voice through the black hole and the audio from say FMOD in our case here, which again is coming out to the ID4. So if I now go over to FMOD and I hit play, I'm now able to not only hear my audio from my FMOD session, but I can also hear my voice, which is all in turn being recorded. Now, when you come into using um, QuickTime, obviously I'm recording in QuickTime right now. So if I click that, it's going to stop, which I can't now do. But in QuickTime, you would choose Black Coal 2 channel for your microphone input. Um, I wonder if I can quickly just Google this so you can see it. Uh, QuickTime screen recording. Hopefully there's an image that makes some sorts of sort of sense here. So this is older QuickTime. So yeah, you'll see that once you go to QuickTime and you'll click on QuickTime from the top uh, corner here, you'll say new screen recording. You'll see this menu and you'll want to go into options and choose black hole will be in here. So right where this says loopback audio, that's the paid option I was, I was showing you earlier in the video. You're going to be choosing the output of your microphone to be the black hole two channel. Please do mess around with the levels in terms of your Ladiocast mixer, because it might be that your voice is too quiet against your um, door session, your logic session, your Pro Tool session, or vice versa. So please do do a couple of tests before you actually launch in and commit to your final vlog. But I do hope that that's useful. Um, I'm gonna put this text in the description of this video. Please do comment if you have any problems. I'll always be looking for different and other ways of approaching this. Obviously, you can go down the OBS route. You can get thing, uh, applications like Ecamm on the Mac, which make this kind of easier in a sense, um, but you do have to pay for these options. So this is a free way to using just three bits of software, Black Coal, Ladiocast, and the audio MIDI uh, setup window, which is part of your Mac. I do hope that was useful. And uh, like I say, if you found a better way or if you run into any problems with this setup, please do let me know. Take care, guys.